Hi everyone, it's Northern Lewis at the school. In this video, a bit more of an advisory type video. Um, there have been some of you asking about all these routines and exercises, drills we've been posting, but how do I choose what I want to do for the day, okay? Well, quite honestly, it all depends on your goal, whether you want to be working on your stamina, working on your strength, working on your technique, okay? It depends. But I'll give you an example of what I do on a weekly basis so that you can it kind of puts an idea in your mind as to what you should be looking at. So at the moment, three times a week, I do a, currently I do a resistance training session. So that's usually something to do with lifting weight. Okay. I also do a second session would be a, uh, a hit routine. So high intensity interval training, something that doesn't take very long to do. And the third one would be anywhere between cardio and calisthenics. Okay. So you don't have to necessarily do in that order, but it all, but it's, three times a week, three different workouts, and it's it's quite a nice balanced amount. For instance, if you wanted to concentrate on lifting weight or doing strength exercises, then you don't want to place too much emphasis on cardio, okay? So if you want to be do work, working uh, the strength of your legs and your upper body, you wanna be uh, doing some resistance training routines, then you wanna concentrate more on that and not necessarily putting too much cardio in because the thing is about creating your own sessions is if you give yourself too much it can be very demotivating okay if you decide okay i'm going to lift some weights for this first part then i'm going to do a hit routine and i'm going to go for a run i don't know you should be doing that okay you, you'll probably find yourself exhausted before you even get through it okay so you need to balance yourself correctly so one day you want to concentrate on resistance training perhaps then okay then you want to stick with body weight exercises or lifting or lifting some weights. If you want to concentrate on a HIIT routine, then really, you don't, we don't really want any equipment at all. But what you want to do is design yourself a routine that's going to take 15, 20 minutes. So you want to give yourself a good warm up, and including joint rotations. You want to do a, a few basic exercises just to warm the arms and the, the core and the legs up. And then you want to give yourself five or six exercises in a singular HIIT routine that you can then perform over three sets. So for instance, you could do six exercises, 30 seconds each, 20 second rest, and then once you've done it, rest for a minute, repeat it three times, and there you go, there's your hit routine done for the day, all right? 15 minutes, but it stays with you for the whole day, because when you do, when you perform hit routines to you know a good standard, and you push yourself hard, you continue to burn calories for well over 24 hours after that, okay? So it's, that's a good one. Uh, if, you're working, if you're looking at improving uh, your endurance doing running, then of course, you can give you can go out for a run for two and a half miles, three miles, and then when you come back, if you feel like you've got some energy to do so, do some work on your legs because that's going to help to build the muscles for your next time. Okay, so things like that. If you wanted to plan just a standard session that's got a bit of everything in it, <clears throat> then of course what you need to do is warm yourself up, warm up your joints, warm up your heart rate. Okay, decide what muscle groups you're going to work, decide what techniques you're going to work and then you're gonna perform exercises relevant to that. So from a martial artist perspective, if you wanna improve your punches, particularly your straight punches, then you should be playing, placing a lot of emphasis on your shoulders and your triceps, okay? But also you should be working some core, and to some degree, you should be working some legs as well. Because if you think about it, to do a single punch, you have to generate the twist from the shoulder, the extension of the tricep, and the turning of the hips, and the pressing of the legs, okay? so. For example, okay, you could do some skipping to warm you up, okay, then you can do some basic calisthenics such as star jumps, okay, sit-ups for 30 seconds a piece to keep you going and then your main part might be that you want to do some shadow boxing to start with to get you moving, get your arms working. Then, okay, if you're working your straight punches, then press-ups is a good exercise I'd recommend that you do. Tricep dips as well because you're working the triceps. If you're lifting any weight, okay, um, I recommend using a uh, medicine ball or a, a light dumbbell for the for a tricep press like this, okay. With the press ups, you can use a weighted vest if you've got it, or you can add an incline. There's lots of options there anyway. And then for the next part, maybe you want to do some core. Well, whenever you extend a punch and, and you twist across here, you place a lot of emphasis on using the obliques. So that will be including exercises where you lay on your side like so and you practice crunching up and down here so it's like this you crunch up and over your hips like this so you get to work on the obliques you can also do that with your leg 
placed on top of a surface and you crunch forward and back into it as well. And then maybe you want to work some legs. Well, quite honestly, the uh, quads are a good one for generating, generating power and pushing forward, especially if you're stepping forward and punching as well. So that would be squats and things like that. So in that, you've already got a workout that will probably last half an hour. And quite honestly, if you're working uh, in your own sort of space, your own sort of time, half an hour is good. As long as you're putting a good intensity in, um, you don't necessarily have to work out for an hour every time because it, it depends on what you're doing. Um, if you do, if you give yourself too much to do, as I said, it can be demotivating and uh, you know, it can make it harder for you to want to go back and do it again. But you want to set yourself the ideas in your head that, okay, I'm going to work this today, I'm going to work this this time, and so on. Okay, so in terms of creating a structure, just make sure you have a, an, an idea of what you want to do, what muscle groups you're going to use, and obviously plan your sets and your reps. Um, if you're not working with weights at all, then stick to the highest reps that you can do. So it's all about endurance. Okay, if you are lifting light weights, then again, keep the reps high, but just watch the form. If you decide that you're going to do some heavy lifting, then of course you want smaller amount of reps and smaller amount of sets, but you want longer rest periods. So you keep your body energized throughout. Okay. Anyway, let us know in the comments um, any other ideas that you can think of in terms of that you want us to go through that's talking about fitness, um, but like and share the video and hopefully that's giving you some ideas of what you can do in your free time. But for now, take care of yourselves, enjoy, and let us know, you know what you come up with. We'd be interested to hear it. All right, take care of yourselves.